Hi. Uh, just a couple of the photographs of oil paintings I did about 20, ooh, could it be 15, 16 years ago. Um, there's this one. Can you see that? I did it in the style of Monet. Monet. Uh, very colourful. I used a lot of um, high key colours like cobalt violet and uh, viridian, emerald green. Uh, I've still, I don't know if I've still got this one. It's quite a large one. It's, uh, I think it's 24 by 16 inches. And there's this knife painting. This is based on a Scottish artist. And I, I love this artist. I love the simplicity of knife painting, but deceptively simple. Uh, I don't know where that one is. But anyway, Scottish Islands. Uh, I was rummaging through looking for some some Seven Island photographs. They're on my main computer, so I'll have to email them to my tablet and carry on working with those. Or take some more. This is the River Rother uh, in uh, I don't know if it's Sussex or Kent. That's probably Kent. I was out with a friend over there years ago. We, we, we were painting and not doing very well with the plein air. But I took this photograph. I'm not going to put the, this town in over the background, whatever it is. I'm going to do, substitute that for, for trees. It's just, just make a painting of, of some, uh, some water, the river, and, and the, the right-hand bank, really, which I found quite attractive. So I'll stick that up the top here. Where I can, I'm not going to do a copy of it, I'm just going to, oh there it is, so that I can just enjoy myself for the next 20 minutes or so, half an hour. Right, there's my palette. I see Stephen Cronin's now, now uh, softening his paints. It's, it's great because you've, you've got the paint squeezed out and they're only the Cotsman watercolours, inexpensive 21mm tubes, very, very good value. And it's a bit hard scrubbing away when the pans or when your paints are dry, but by spraying them with a water spray before you start to get them, get them nice and soft, you've got some really powerful colours uh, and a thickness that really does make a difference rather than making a painting very thin. So um, I like Stephen Cronin's uh, paintings. Have a look at him. He's a very, very good teacher and works with the Hague. He's been on YouTube for a lot longer than I have. But I, in the early days when I got onto YouTube, he was my inspiration to actually do it on YouTube. I've always used the Hague with the watercolours for, for about 25 years. But uh, I stopped in favour of oil for many, many years. So anyway, so let's, let's uh, in the Ron Ranson fashion, who started us all on from the, the hake and the, and the palette and using the student quality paints, they're fine, they're fine. If you can afford artist quality, well, great. But for most beginners, setting up a studio or a, a corner where you can paint and to buy enough equipment, including an easel, it's all quite expensive to start with, so you, you don't really want the added expense of buying expensive paints to start with anyway. So I'm not sure whether this is the right height that I've been using. Uh, I think it is. I can't see another one nearby. Right, okay, so we'll give that a bit of a bit of a warm with some sunset. I don't like the sky on the photograph. But we'll just put a bit of red in there. That's very strong. The light red is a very strong colour. But we're making up a, a painting, so we, we don't really want to be literal when we're copying, well, when we're working photographs. So let's have some, some blue and some alizarin. 
in that sky. In the water, the reflections are going a bit darker. My board's quite uh, steep, it's about 45 degrees and we'll give that a dry. I don't want the sky to compete but the sky is a background to the painting so let's uh So I don't want it bone dry, I'm going to put a background in. Um, so we want some distance, so the colours that we've already got in the sky and just right across. This is above a bank of the river. So let's uh, put in some lemon yellow in. Okay, that'll do, we can put a little bit over. Right, that, that'll do for that. Now, uh, we'll put in a bit of a bank. We want the river coming across and some darker I mix a bit of blue, a bit of burnt sienna. And then we'll just bring that, that river coming down at the left hand side. And we'll put in a little bit of reflection. Okay, so the the um, bank is going to come in here. So I want a nice bit of uh, dark in there. So blue, alizarin, sienna. So we just put this uh, clump of trees in here. Bit even darker, but I don't want to use Payne's Grey. I just want the colours that I've got. Well, this tree comes up here. And I can put in some fine rigor work in that. But more dark in there. And I can use, scrape out a little bit. So let's just have some of that where the, the lighter grass is going to go. And I'll put in a little bit of stuff here, a bit of sienna, <coughs> a bit of alizarin. The day stay is bright and cold. And it's, it's a beautiful day, really. All right, and that's a nice dark in here. Right, okay, there's the very little green in there, but I'll put a bit. In. 
and I can finish some of that off with a rigger. So, we just put in some of this. It doesn't exist in a photograph, but that doesn't matter. It probably did before the photo, when the photograph was taken, but the, the camera overexposes and uh, well, let's just stretch the paper. You don't need to uh, pre-stretch the papers, not with this, because it's 130 pound fabric. Oh, oh, crumbs. It's uh, 130 pound cold pressed fabric. It's a lovely paper for for this type of painting. Let's just that's it. Right. Uh, huh. When that dries off a bit, I'm going to put some trees along there, I think. Uh, well, I'll dry it off. So take your headphones off. Or we'll mute your sound. Go. Right, back to the... Uh, that would have been a summer's day. Well, I don't know, no, it wouldn't have been a spring day. A cool spring day because there's no leaves on these trees. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't have got it in the winter. We're too like our comfort. Uh, I still want to get that darker in there before I do anything else. So. That'll dry. Okay, so let's put in some I can put some trunks and stuff on there a bit of detail. I want that blue to show though. Well, we'll put a little bit of green in there as well. You will get evergreens. Okay, we, we can etch into that now with our rigger when we get around to it. Right, that'll do. My cloth, clean my cloth. No. Oh. Squeeze it out. I've got a cloth here. You just need a bit of cloth to sort your brush out. I, I'm going to do these trunks with some some burnt sienna and some some blue. Just see if we can get some of these in. A lot of these, but we can't do them all. We can only just have a few of them. This is probably all I'll do today. I've done, I've done a week doing acrylic. I love working with acrylic, but you, they, they, they take longer to do and a lot longer to prepare. I don't think we need to do any rigor work in there. That's uh, 
Uh, what does that look like? That looks okay. Right, now I want to do some... Uh, some reeds and stuff. Let's bring that over here. Just using a bit of the brush. <coughs> My sort of stock in trade. The ultramarine and burnt sienna, gorgeous mix. Just want to bring this bank further into the picture. Now, I'm still not happy with that dark. I'm not going to use. Uh, I want dark greeny shadowy colour in here but I'm, I'm not using Payne's grey right I'm gonna let that go just a little bit of rigor work in the foreground with some reeds I should have scraped out with my little Hard there, but I, I don't want to rest it again. So with my rigger, which is lost again. Come on, rigger. Ah, oh, there we are. Right, number three rigger. That's that's a very useful brush. So let's uh, mix up some dark blue bursia. And then we can Just some detail, nothing difficult. It's a very simple sort of painting. Right, that's it. I'll put a bird in. Right, okay, we'll sign it and then we'll uh, have a look at this like. Okay, no figures. Let's put it in a mount. Well, there's the uh, photograph. I'm not going to do any more to it than that. Very, very simple. And now the sun's come out. Uh, the one I did a couple of days ago, Sunrise Over an English Moor, I put a couple of coats of PVA glue diluted, which makes a good varnish. So that's what it come up, came up like. It, it brings the colours out. Because they, when you're working fairly thin, the, it goes on dark, or, or in this case, bright and intense, but it sort of soaks in and loses intensity as the water and it evaporates. 
but by putting a bit of varnish in it, it lifts it. It's like in oil painting, the one colour that dries quicker than anything else is burnt umber. <coughs> and when you, uh, when it dries, which is fairly quick, well in oil it, it dries quite faster than the rest of them. Um, when it dries, it, it goes very dull, it soaks in. And if you varnish it with a coat of uh, what they call retouch varnish, it brings all the colours out from the depth where they've sunk. And the same with watercolour, oh, with, with acrylic. Well, there we are, a simple painting for a Saturday morning. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to do any more. I really want to go and sit in the chair and, and look at some YouTube videos of other artists. We're always learning, we're always picking up or looking for ideas. I can't do a, a coastal scene for a while because Stephen Cronus has done, done one and he's used a lot of, a lot of blue in it and, and, it's, and for those of you that, that like using a car to scrape out rocks, he's, uh, he's got a, it's a great lesson. This is his latest painting, he did it yesterday, it's just, that'll do. And don't forget Alan Owen, of course, who's, who's a lovely man and a really fine teacher. He really does go back to basics, so if you're a beginner, this isn't really a beginning. But this is where, where you end up, well, say end up, I, I'm far from finished. You'll never get good enough, believe you me. And always people better than you. Right, well I think that's quite a pleasing, it's, it's quite a colourful painting for a Saturday morning, uh, winter. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.